Welcome back to class, everybody. Um, I have done much deliberation on this next episode, and uh, it, it led me to, to do some further research and, and to really look into some shit, because something just wasn't making sense. See, up until now, I thought that the Iberians and the Celts were the same but different kind of thing going on, you know? They're the same but different. Same but different. But they're not. <laughs> They're actually more different than they are the same, and I'm glad that I did my extra research because one of the things I hate to do is get shit wrong and not know I was wrong because, like, that pissed me off. <laughs> when when I found out just how wrong I was about it, it pissed me off. So I'm going to split it into two episodes because that's what it really should be. Now, I'm not saying that the Celts and the Iberians are 100% different. Um, they do have things in common. They were neighbors. So parts of their culture will be in common. Parts of their, in general, fighting technique will be the same. But in general, like the, the Iberians, what set them apart was their master craftsmanship. Um, the Iberian Peninsula is what I'm pretty sure now is called Spain. Um, it bordered Rome and Carthage and the Celts to the north. And because of all their neighbors, it led to a melding pot of cultures. And if they couldn't be relevant, they'd be exterminated. So they made up for it by being some of the most master craftsmen you'd ever know. Even the Greek world had to get in on it and to prove it, man... And to prove it, man, the falcata, a weapon that even the Greeks used uh, under the name of the copus. Um, the falcata was a deadly fucking weapon. Uh, the forward curve of it meant that it would hack and slash really well, while at the same time being able to slice with that inside curve there. Uh, thrusting isn't really its strong suit, but you can thrust with it. Um... That kind of weapon really set them apart, and that was like their go-to kind of sword. Um, but they they again had to contend with Carthage and Rome, but so they had to have ways to get through like the leather and the chain, the the more heavily armored, beefier guys. So they came up with shit like this, <laughs> the Iberian mace, meant to just crack a bitch, meant to crack a shield knock someone to the ground. This thing was meant to be heavy. Uh, as you can see, it's longer than just a ball mace at the top. This is a bit of a bar with several studs here to condense this weight into points, but still have a lot of weight. Um, now, them being bordered to Rome, they also did use weapons like the Gladius. They had daggers like the Pugio, which this is not a, a Pugio. Um, this is what's called just the Iberian dagger in the in the in-game files. What I liked about it was even though they were master uh, craftsmen in both jewelry and we uh, weapons and armor, this has such just a simple look to it. This was not made by a world-renowned blacksmith. This was not made by some artisan with, you know, decades of practice. This dagger was probably made by some two-bit blacksmith because th that's all that needed to be done was just a dagger. It's something simple that you can slip into the armpit of the enemy. Doesn't need to be ornate, doesn't need to be decorative, just needs to get down to business. That is my favorite kind of weapon. All right, screw the ornate, screw the, the decorative, screw all that shit. Give me something that gets the dirty work done. And I'll be happy every day of the week with it. But uh, I am going to be using a Scutum as my my shield, just because of how they bordered Rome and Car uh, Rome and Carthage as cell swords for both empires. Um, there is a very good chance that their soldiers would carry Roman Scutums. Just a, a very good chance. It's a very good shield, and I could see a lot of people using it. Again, I'm going to be bordering some of them greater nations, so I'm going to have the two difficulty, one length. Let's get down to business. Let's not waste any more time. Um, 
one thing I can say about the Iberians was that they did pick up a thing or two from their northern neighbors on how to fight. Uh, I was I was looking at you know some of the the weapons and armors and whatnot they had, and I came across this thing that laid out how the falcata could be used um, to bite into a shield. Nope. To bite into a shield, pull the shield down, punch with the scutum like this, to drive an enemy back, tilt yours over theirs. And then come over top with this guy in. So it was like climbing a ladder. And I actually want to try that. But I like holding the scutum like this. Gives me more uh, more surface area. Alright, so see. We've got leather, I think. It's, I'm a little far away. Yeah, it looks like you've got leather and plate. Wunderbar. Mmm. -hmm. All right, I'm going to try and take this chick out quick and semi-quiet. Oh, real quick, before I get into this, full damage off, infinite focus is disabled. I'm going to turn mana on just for shits and giggles. Whoa! Hi. Bam! Ah! Eh! 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 Uh, uh. Drop it! Drop it! Eh! 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 Just to be sure. There we go. Ooh, person walking over there. Oh, gonna crouch IRL. So that I have my thumb ready to do things. Like hit that slow time button. Okay. Oh, oh wait, I got a I got an idea here. <laughs> Baby! Just shove him off the fucking ledge. Oh, they're right around this corner. Three, two, one, go! Get him, get him, get him! Okay, there's nobody else. Okay. Man, Dagger doing work. Dagger doing work for me. I'm going to see if this works. No. No. All right, one more thing. One one more thing I want to try here. Uh No? Alright. Yeah. And then get rid of the magic. Got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger doing work for me, though. I wish I'd kept that torch. It's dark in here. Oh, that's better. I took his fucking arm off. Hmm. 
Fulcata doing work. I don't think she's dead. I'm stuck in him. She looks like the Joker. What's what's the what's the no for? What's the what's the hold up? Huh? Poke. How is? Bop. <laughs> She's just standing there. Okay. And you, Little Miss Joker. God, you look exactly. And here we go. Exactly like the like like the grin. Ugh. There we go. Eh. Not decapitating as well as I'd hoped. Really, really not getting that decap like I wanted. That's no. Oh. oh wait, wait, goes there. Whew. Bam! <laughs> huh. Climb. Look out. No, no, this way. Oh. Yes! I'm coming for you, bitch! Bam! Uh, do you have... I don't know, I think he has a, a sword. Oh wow, that is. That is some stab resistant chainmail. Give me your fucking shoulder. There we go. There we go. Twist it around a little. Just in case he wasn't dead. Hi! Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh. So this is where our finest battle shall be held. I'm gonna kill you first. Then you. Unless there's somebody right here. Then you. There we go. Oh, I fucked that up. Doing this a bit out of order. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> this is why I stand in the middle. What did I hit? Ow, my fingers. All right, well, at least the controller's still... Oh. Why can't I store you? Oh, I am dancing around people. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, all right, hold up, hold up. There's a lot of you. There we go. All right, I need to back up. Ooh. Ah. 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 Magic. Ah. Filthy fucking heretic. Yeah. Oh. Get out of my shield. Ah. 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 Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, batter into the fucking corner. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, did I miss? Stab her with the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I am so bound up in people right now. This is bad. Hit somebody behind me, didn't it? Uh, 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 uh. No! Oh, I got shot from above. All right, that's no fair. That is not. That is not the fault of my equipment. That is. That is me straight up punching my fucking wall. <laughs> that led to that death. Ow, Ali! I punched your belt rack and it hurt. <laughs> Like a lot. <laughs> I was right here. Somebody stuck up behind me and I swung and I just hit it right there. Ow. Yeah. We're, we're going to redo this. I will see you guys again at the great battle. Uh, this time, hopefully, without breaking my fucking knuckles. On the plus side, though. I mean, for as bad as tracking as these controllers have, my god, are they durable. Like, ne let it never be said that they are not insanely durable. Okay, alright, we're back. Three, two, one. Alright, we're back at the battle. As you can see, we managed to roll the dice, lucky. Uh, recreating it with the same, uh, the same field, maybe not the same layout of enemies, but definitely the same field. Um, this time I'm double checking where the hell I'm standing. That is out of arm's reach, out of arm's reach, unless I lean a bit. Nothing else within arm's reach, even if I lean now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit anything. Okay, it's gonna make sure I don't actually move my fucking feet. So. No. Yes. Yes. <sighs> Boom! Get him, get him, get him! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, 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 
triple archer squad. Not what I want. Right around this corner. Yes! Uh, 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 uh. Got one. How did I miss that stab? Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. I took a lot of damage fast. Pretty sure that just fell on the ground. Oh, I stabbed through her fucking shield. And now I just stuck on my weapon. There we go. Man, punches right through that leather. Woo. Oh, I heard the whistle of a second arrow. I gotta make this quick. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's two archers down. They're the ones who got me last time, so the archers. I gotta make sure I don't hold this over my right eye the entire time. Because that's what you guys are seeing out of. Yes! Still an archer? Yep. Hey, there's still an archer down there. I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck with that. Filthy heretic! Oh, this is a bad place to be. Right in the titty. Stabagram. Oh, I missed. Uh, uh, uh. Gotta go get my, gotta go get my shield back. I, I was hoping I could throw my shield at her. Whoa, fuck! Uh. Whoa, I'm taking damage. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta, I gotta fight. I gotta fight. <laughs> Holster that. Running, running, running. <laughs> there we go. Go. Alright, it's clear for any of the archers to get a, a fucking beat on me right here. Ugh. Ow, shit! Not for the melee fighters, though. Go for the face! Ugh. That's what you get for not wearing a fucking helmet. Ugh. 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 Whoa. Die, Geralt! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, look, another Falcata! Hey, hey! Ooh! Holy shit, how's my health looking? Not super grand, let's hope I don't have to fight again. <laughs> Woo! Bonk. It's not looking like it. I'm pretty sure this is just the run to the boat. This is the third one of these I've gone through just on this seed. <laughs> oh, I almost got it. 
No, come back, dagger. There we go. Oh, no, it bounced. I was trying to stick into that. Oh, shit. Thank God fall damage is off. I'd have killed myself twice over right now. Yep, I left my Iberian mace behind. That's kind of sad. Well... There you go. Something to remember me by. Okay. What did we learn? Uh, we learned that I am not good at blocking arrows. <laughs> And that I'm a bit rusty when it comes to watching my back. But uh, we also learned that their weapons, the, the Essenai weapons, are incredibly lethal. Um, this one, the, the mace, you know, as being a blunt weapon, it's good against really anybody. But it really shines against those heavily armored ones. The ones with the helmet on, the ones with the plate on, the ones with the leggings on, the arm shit on. The, this one, you just crack away as long as you can get the distance right. My problem is, I don't do well with distance weapons, so I, I tend to hit people more with the handle than the head. But that's that's something any bit of practice can resolve. Um, when it came... Sorry, my nose is really itchy. All right. When it came to the Fulcata, it wasn't as lethal as I'd hoped. It, it had a decent stab, and towards the end, I started relying on that stab as its hack wasn't as getting the job done. It wasn't insta-killing like I'd hoped it would. Just being a chopping weapon, I really thought I'd be taking limbs off a lot easier. But uh, it, it usually would cut in, but then it'd get stuck there and have to be pulled back out or slid out. So I just started going for those those cheeky stabs to the face. It stabbed clean through leather. That impressed me. I didn't think this would be able to punch through that, that leather chest very easily, so I'm happy with it. Honestly, the, the part of this whole ensemble I'm the most happy with is this fucking dagger. Um, sorry. I meant to toss it up and then catch it. Eh. There you go. I'm really happy with this fucking dagger. I'm really bad at that catch, because it just fucking yeets it up. I want to just go a little bit. Whew, that was cool. I'm trying to do just little toss. There we go. I'm really happy with this guy. It murdered like nobody's business. Um, this thing was able to just gut people. And as you, you know, I'll put in a highlight here of the, you know. I'm sneaking. I'm going to stab her and I'm going to stab you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, uh, whoa! Uh, 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 uh. This dagger do work, though. Thank you, Jake. Um, so yeah, man, this thing, if you're quick about it, if you can get your hands on your opponent, it is just the perfect stabbing dagger. It doesn't waste any time on slices. It, it tapers to a nice point there. Uh, let me hold this over here so the, that you guys can... Oh, jeez. Ah, so you guys can see it there. Yeah, see? It, it tapers to a fine point. Not really worried about slicing, but it is rather thin. Um, no fullers on it, meaning it's not going to be weakened at all. It is just, just a good stabber. And I like it. <laughs> I really do. Um... As far as offense, it can kill all three, so there's an A. When it comes to defense, um, their armor was usually like scale armor and stuff like that, uh, heavily based on the Rome and the Carthaginians, so a little bit of chain, a little bit of scale. So I'm going to put them, since they're such a melding pot of cultures that I've somewhat evaluated already, I'm going to go ahead and have to give them a similar grade to the Legionnaires, which I'm pretty sure I gave the Legionnaires an A. So you know, uh, Iberians, A, or B, if that's what I get. I'm going to have to look back at my notes on what I gave the Legionnaires. Um, 
uh, they're they're very similar. They're weapons of a slightly different uh, drive to them, but they are incredibly similar. Um, the only difference is that they get a bit more of that that Galatian hack and slash in there than the Romans measured cut and thrust. So class dismissed.